Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Hope you're all doing well and you're feeling fine. Having yourself a great day. In this video, we're going to look at question number 23 on our grade 8 dose paper. Greg, Charlize, and Azra run at different but constant speeds. <coughs> Each pair ran a race on a track that measured 100 meters from start to finish. In the first race, as we crossed the finish line, Charlize was 20 meters behind. In the second race, when Charlize crossed the finish line, Greg was 10 meters behind. So we can see Azra is faster than Charlize, and Charlize is faster than Greg. So when the final pair, Azra and Greg, run, Azra will finish first, right? Well, in the third race, when Azra crossed the finish line, we want to know how many meters behind Greg was. Okay. Now, you can make this question, I think, a bit more complicated than it needs to be by actually trying to calculate speeds for people. Okay, we don't know how fast anyone is. Nobody's, they don't say, oh, Charlize runs five meters per second or anything like that. And we don't have any times. Nobody says, well, it takes Azra 30 seconds to finish the whole thing. So we just sort of have the distances that they run in not specified times, but sort of relative times. And so we're going to use sort of relative relationship. We're going to use ratios to try and help us out. So for example, Azra uh, runs 100 meters in the time it takes Charlize to run 80 meters, right? How do I know it's 80 meters? Well, imagine the track for a moment. Azra finishes, Charlize is 20 meters behind, so how far has Charlize actually gone? Well, the whole thing's 100, so we're left with 80. Okay? So, we can say, well, <clears throat> in the time it takes Azra to run 100 meters, Charlize runs 80 meters. Now, that's not the most helpful thing for us. So what we might do is we might say, okay, well, for every 100 meters Azra runs, Charlize runs 80 meters, so common denominator, divide it by 20. For every 5 meters Azra runs, Charlize runs, divide by 20 again, 4 meters. So in the time it takes Charlize to run 4 meters, Azra has won, run 5 meters. You do that 20 times, and then Azra has finished the race, whereas Charlize has only gone the 80 meters. So it's a nice little ratio. Azra's speed is to Charlize's speed as 5 meters is to 4 meters. We're not going to write it as ratios, but that's really what we're building on. Now for our second race, Charlize runs, Charlize is the one that finishes. We got our 100 meters. Charlize is at the end. Now Greg is the one who's behind. Greg was 10 meters behind. So how far had Greg run? Well, if the total is 100 meters, Greg must have run 90 meters, because he's 10 meters from the end. So Greg runs 90 meters. Well, we can turn that into a ratio as well. Just give myself a bit more space here. All right? Every 100 meters Charlize runs, Greg runs 90 meters. Divide by 10. Every 10 meters Charlize runs, Greg runs uh, 9 meters. Okay. So how does that help us? Well, in the final race, it's Azra and Greg. But we could imagine what was happening if Charlize was just running along for fun. So imagine our little race. Everybody lines up here, and they all race. And then at the end, Azra's going to win. And we know where Charlize is. Charlize is 20 meters behind. But now we can figure out relative to Char Char Charlize where Greg is. And here's how we do it. So in the last race, Azra runs 100 meters. Now, for every five meters that Azra runs, Charlize runs four meters. And so we get the Charlize, if she were running, will have run 80 meters. Okay. So Charlize has run 80 meters, but for every 10 meters that Charlize runs, so she's, she's done that eight times, Greg runs nine meters. And we can see Greg has run 72 meters. Okay? So Azra, you could even do it in terms of tens. Every 10 meters Azra runs, Charlize runs 8 meters. 
get 80, and then every 10 meters Charlize runs, Greg runs 9 meters. Okay. That's all we're doing. We're breaking up the distances that these people have run, and then understanding that for every this many, the other person does that many meters, and we're able to work out where the other person should be. So if we imagine our track again, 100 meters, Azra's there, sort of our phantom Charlize is here, and Greg is a little further back. Greg has run 72 meters, so how far behind is Greg? Well, how, how far do you have to go from 72 to get to 100? 28. So Greg is 28 meters behind. And that's C. So there we go. Didn't actually have to work out any real speeds or anything. It's more just saying, well, if this person goes X amount, then this other person will go Y amount in the same amount of time. Okay? We don't need to work with any actual time frames here. So an interesting little question. Uh, we've got two more to go. So question number 24 is up next, and I will see you for that if you are so inclined. Thanks for watching.